couple of blows to the body early down 14-0 early in this ball game. But, you know, with five and a half minutes to go in the first half, it was a 14-7 ball game. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we hung in there and battled. And, you know, I'm so proud of them. Come back and, um, you know, to fight and hang in there. And, you know, when you look at it, um, you know, we busted a couple of gaps again. You know, we got some runs out on us. Uh, you know, we had we left 21 points out there too, you know, offensively. But very proud of the total effort, very proud of the offense. I think we're moving forward now. Uh, I thought we ran the football effectively, and, you know, and passing game was was uh, pretty pretty good too as well, protection. So we've improved from game one to game two. After last week's game, we said, hey, maybe you found a quarterback in Joel Blumenthal. Tonight, we're saying, hey, maybe you found a quarterback in J.D. Allman. Your thoughts on how he played? Well, I thought J.D. came in and did a phenomenal job. I thought that Joel did a great job, too. Uh, now you see my problem. <laughs> All right, so, you know, we got uh, four guys that have done really well and, you know, getting them in and getting the opportunity to see them play. So that was exciting, you know, to see these guys have some success. You gave up several big plays yeah. tonight. It, you mentioned that last week it was a, a problem with maybe just one guy missing an assignment. Is it the same? Was it the same problem tonight? Well, we had a couple guys, you know, we had them in the gaps and their backs are really good. You know, McGuire, man, he made his miss a couple of times and we had a clean shot at him. Um, you know, one time we did get out of the gap on a blitz that they got a touchdown out of. You know, I thought their receivers were big guys, you know, and they bumped us off in a man coverage and made two long catches. Uh, they start, started to drive off one time on the boot. Um, you know, we didn't carry the receiver all the way across. Another freshman mistake, but you know, it's uh, it's, it's things that are that are correctable. You know, and I think uh, you know the hardest thing is to correct is that heart and effort. You know, the X's and O's we can continue to get better at. And I, I thought we played with a lot of heart and effort tonight. How much of your message to your players right now is, hey, this game? And next week against Mississippi State will not define our season, will not define us as a team. No, it's not. And, you know, and understanding what it is. And, uh, you know, we just want to continue to make improvement. Obviously, we'll be stepping up to another level next week going into the SEC. Um, you know, and just the biggest thing for us is continue to improve, work on the little things, and, and stay healthy. You know, that's going to, you know, with these, you know, you got to give ULL a lot of credit, man. They got a good football team. They got a lot of really, really good players, and their offensive line is huge. So, you know, um, you know, so, you know, they got some push, but I thought we did some good things overall. Patrick? 